All you need is five simple ingredients and less than 30 minutes for this sweet and salty, tender, juicy honey garlic chicken recipe. I'll teach you how, so stick around. Aloha mai kako, my name is Rel, and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite Hawaiian and local recipes. And today we're gonna make a quick, easy, five ingredient dish that takes you less than 30 minutes. So let's get started. I'd like to mahalo Fulan Hawaii for sponsoring this video. As always, thoughts and opinions are my own. So we're gonna make honey garlic chicken. This sauce is so versatile, you can use it on beef, pork, chicken, fish, up to you. But today we're gonna do chicken. So we're gonna start with the onions. I've got my pan heated up over medium high heat. And I'll teach you a little trick with the onions. So we're just gonna use half, actually less than half. And you're gonna peel off this outside. I know I show you guys this all the time, but if you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoy. And I'm gonna show you this little trick of mine. Also, full recipe instructions and ingredients are in the description box below. So feel free to check it out. You can hop on over to the blog and see the rest of it. So after you peel that, the top and the root, right? So we're gonna trim the top. And then we're gonna make horizontal cuts. So it'll go this way, put your hand up here and you're gonna slide it like this. You don't want to cut through the root. You're gonna get as close as you can and you're just gonna make a few layers like this. The more layers you make, the thinner it'll be. After you do that, then we're gonna do vertical cuts this way. It'll fray a little and that's just how it goes. So don't mind so much. And I, like I said, the thinner you make it, the smaller your pieces. I like to dice them really thin. I don't know, I don't like to bite into big chunks of onion. Then you'll turn it back this way and you're gonna kinda use your hand to hold it so it doesn't fray out. And we're gonna dice it again. Not again, I guess, give it the final cut. And don't mind if you can hear noises in the background, my kids are here and such is life. <laughs> so, onions like that. So then you got bite-sized pieces. So then what we're gonna do is you're gonna add your cooking oil of choice. This is avocado oil. You can use olive oil, wes, I was gonna say wesson oil. <laughs> Vegetable oil, canola, totally up to you. And then we're gonna put the onions in. And you're gonna use about half. This was a big one, so I don't think we need all of it. And that'll help become the sauce of this. So that's gonna go until translucent. Ooh, I thought I was gonna get away with my eyes not watering. It's just a little. Now while that's cooking, we're gonna cube up some chicken. I like to use boneless, skinless thighs, but you can use breasts, you can use skin on, bone in if you really want. I just like to make bite-sized pieces and do it like, I guess kind of like nugget style. The kids, I don't know, It's I just find it easier. Cube it up, I don't know, maybe one inch pieces like so. If you don't like so much of the fat, you totally can trim it off. I find it cooks down okay, so it's not too bad. And try to cut them to generally the same size pieces, so that way you don't have like super small pieces that cook really quickly, and then really big pieces that take forever. So this recipe is one of those that we make, you know, quite frequently. It's a great weeknight meal. Like I said, it takes less than 30 minutes. Pantry staples that you probably have on hand. And you know what? The kids like it. And like I said, I mean, if you don't eat meat, you could do it on tofu if you wanted. There's so many options, which is really nice. I probably like it the best on the chicken though. And if you wanna check out, I have an Instant Pot way of cooking it too, and you can check that out. I'll put that in the description box below and I'll link it up here in the card. I also have an air fryer one. We're hitting all the ways around here. Okay, so if you see, the onions have just started to become translucent. So now we're gonna add the chicken. This is also one that's super easy. The kids can help. My daughter loves to help in the kitchen, so I'm always letting her do the easy things. She's still little, so. And this pan is a little bit small for all this chicken. You probably, <laughs> note, 
You probably don't want to stuff it so much like this, but I already cut it, so we're just going to roll with it. The heat, the heater, the heating coil on this one is smaller than like the normal stove. So normally I would have used a bigger pan, but because we're cooking in here, we're making do. So anyway, salt and pepper to taste. You can always add more. So I err on starting with less and add more if you need, because you can't take it out once you do it. And there's shoyu in the sauce, and that has a lot of salt in it too, so don't worry, you'll be fine. So now this is gonna cook until it's brown, seven minutes or so, eight minutes, and then we're gonna flip it and brown it on the other side. And while that's going, let's make the sauce. Honey garlic sauce, so that's what we'll need. So to a bowl, you're gonna add some shoyu. Shoyu is Japanese style soy sauce. You can find this in the Asian aisle at most grocery stores. So add some honey totally up to you if you like it less sweet you can add a little bit less honey but the honey flavor is just it's really nice it goes perfectly with this foodland also has their own maikai honey if you want to use that and then maikai whole peeled garlic so if you're pressed on time i like to get this because it's already peeled it's ready to go packaged and easy peasy so and of course I like to use the garlic press. I tell you guys this all the time. So if you want to check out the one I have, I'll list that in the description box below. But all you have to do is take your garlic, put it in, and then you'll just give it a squeeze like this. And it just goes right through. So one, two, hiya. The bigger ones take a little bit more mm, But what I'm trying to do is not fly, <laughs> fly it all over, because that would be bad, right? Oh, uh-huh, see? <laughs> Hopefully that didn't get the other camera. If not, we'll do a slow-mo of it hitting <laughs> the lens. <laughs> and then one last one. And then also, you know, this part here that comes off, just put that right back in. You like garlic, put more. You don't like as much, put less. That's the great thing about recipes. They're just guidelines to get you to where you need to be. And that's the sauce. So we'll mix that up. And we'll set that aside. Let's check the chicken and see how it's going. So because the pan is so full, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but we'll be back when it's done and I'll show you how to put it all together for this delicious dish. All right, now that we've browned up the chicken on both sides, eh, 14, 15, eh, 16 minutes, just make sure it's no longer pink in the middle. And then we've got the honey garlic sauce that we made. If you could smell it, it smells so, so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so sauce in. And then we're gonna cook this down until the honey thickens up. I was gonna say more thicker, that's not correct. If you want it thicker, you can add some cornstarch and water. You'll mix it together on the side first. Don't pour it in, otherwise you'll get clumps. And we might end up having to do this. Depends on how juicy the chicken is when it cooks. Sorry, I know that word is kind of... But anyway, you see how it's kind of thinned out like that? So let's cook this down a little bit and see how it goes. And then if it needs to, I can show you which it just might need to. We can mix some cornstarch and water to thicken it up to make a slurry and then the sauce will be awesome. So hold on, be right back. All right, chicken is cooked up. And as you can see, the sauce is, depends. If you like the sauce like this, you totally can leave it. I like it thicker, more like a, a glaze almost. So like I said, it really depends on the chicken you have and how much juices come out of the chicken when you cook it. You can finish, eat it like this, no big deal. Or you can thicken up the sauce. So to thicken up the sauce, you'll take some cornstarch and some water, and you're gonna mix the cornstarch with the water before you pour it in here. Because, it, like I said, if you pour the cornstarch in straight by itself, it's gonna clump up and it's not gonna do what you need it to do. So, cornstarch water mixture, and then all you're gonna do is pour that in. Start with a little bit and see how it goes. And you'll notice it start to thicken up. So see how it kind of thickens in the middle. But we'll probably need a little bit more because this is a lot of liquid. Normally, I guess, I don't know what determines how juicy chicken, <laughs> chicken is, but this one is a little more than normal. So we'll let that cook through. And when it's done, we'll plate it up, taste it, 
and let you know how it goes. You see the bubbles, how it's starting to thicken right over here. You can see it's more like a glaze right there. Like I said, the cooktop on this is smaller than the pan, so it takes longer. If you were doing this on the regular stove top, or even if you had like a gas stove, it'd be so much quicker. Also, my pan is super, super full, which I don't recommend, but you know, we make do with what we've got. All right, sauce has thickened up. If you want it thicker, add more cornstarch, cook it down a little bit longer. If you like it thinner, like I said, you can totally leave it out. Best way I like to eat it is with some sticky white rice. I mean, pretty much anything you eat here in Hawaii, rice goes pretty well with it. Five ingredients, less than 30 minutes, and you've got yourself a delicious dinner that even the pickiest eaters will probably enjoy. If you try this recipe and you like it, please let me know. If you want more quick and easy dinner ideas, then check out this playlist here. And until next time, ahui ho! Watching my mommy